Good day everyone, thank you for coming to my channel today. And today I would like to showcase my Ice Boa Zone. You know, a lot of players play the Faith, you know, Amazons. And there are, you know, the cold ones too, but it's not a really popular build in a way, but I really, you know, like this Amazon. This is the third character I had created on this comeback. And I'd like to show you my gears, talents, and the playstyle. So first, my weapon is ice, made out of matriarchal bow. Um, this is a perfect roll, because I rolled it myself, so I know. But um, the base wasn't perfect. But nevertheless, you know, it was really like, I was like, oh my god, I was so happy when this popped. And if you see, the biggest thing is that, you know, the cold damage, which varies from 20 to 30, I believe. And the enhanced damage. And also, if you see, you know, the minus 20 cold res is really nice on this and this you know is the the bread and butter of this build and here's my armor um i believe wire fleece is like the most visually pleasing armor when it comes to amazon like no other armor compares i think to wire fleece so i wanted to get the wire fleece for the graphics and also it's kind of like you know blue and red so it kind of like matches too in kind of like colorization and feeling you know and here i put a uh, four red uh cold facet jewels in it and here which is my nightwing veil and in here if you see i put a you know blue jewel in here so you see it's like blue graphics on the helm you know red graphics on the chest and the matching colors you know it's kind of like you know visually pleasing factor so anyways yeah that's my chest and here though you could put an enigma if you like um with this you know by going this option i'm foregoing the, the teleporting option so you know if you want to teleport yeah i think enigma, enigma is fine as well but you know for me if i were gonna go with enigma i'm gonna go wire fleece and then here's my helm it's two percent off of being perfect but yeah uh, self found couldn't sell it so i decided to use it and here i put a increased attack speed jewel and i increased attack speed and all resistance jewel it's quite an expensive jewel high demand and you know if you see my res is still not even maxed out so you know, I, I needed this jewel and if you see here uh this was mostly for the two all two amazon skill and the mana leech and the resistance that's kind of like you know sub helper yeah the mana stolen this build is so mana intensive it's gonna eat through your mana like really fast so you need a lot of mana leech and speaking of that goes to my belt yeah gloom's trap um it's almost unused but as you can see it's a very mana oriented belt yes mana leech maximum mana regenerate mana so it's exactly what i need and my glove is bow and 20 all and 20 increased attack speed with dual leech and yeah it's you know it just completes this build so much with the mana leech and i have a life leech on my weapon as well but this helps too and then this is my ring attack rating mana leech again dex mana so if, if it were more all res it would have been better but you know i'm not complaining too hard and i'm ha i have a raven on the other side course you know for any mana characters it's like you must have almonds if you don't put a charm rune on your helmet and for my boot i'm using war traveler um i could use like a tri resistance boot but at this level like i mean it's like 50 all res basically you know it's not too bad and this would increase like my base damage and so the way i figure like it helps my uh like leeching in a way like so like when i like strafe you know like that's mainly for like you know leeching life and if my damage goes up it should leech more i mean that's my you know kind of that feeling here so that's why i'm using travelers now for my uh swap 66cta on an ethereal monarch so it's 10 strength less which is what you can see here and then for my charms uh bow lifers so a lot of people actually well faith amazons don't use these kind of charms because to them this is kind of trash but for 
ice amazons because it's based on this plus skill is really helpful so actually here too you know you could go soj that plus one it helps a lot and anyway so this is how i went and then for my small charms they're all faster run walk and five resist and even then my resist is like this so you guys can see i mean amazons usually as you guys should know like always suffer from lack of resist and this is no different and here's my torch it's a perfect uh, amazon torch and my annie 2018 and for my talents since we're kind of there so nothing here of course now for a passive i went up to 14 because with bow you would hit 80 at 15. so i figure you know 80 you know 15 percent you know that's pretty good enough and then if you see i'm kind of putting into valkyrie as i level right now and for the main bow section so you max this and you max this for damage now this is a preference because if you look at the description ice arrow will go ahead and increase the freeze length per level so it's you know it's not damage related really but i figure you know what like what would complete you know like an ice boas on right so like but you can play with it you don't have to max it out you can just take out the you know the points and then go somewhere else maybe like you know penetrate if you like but you know, seriously you, i think you have pretty you know pretty enough penetrate i mean look at it like at this is 85 percent versus bail so i don't really think you need penetrate that's just my personal thought but yeah you know you can play with that but i wouldn't play with strafe I, uh, maxing it out is recommended because this is going to be your main leech or like if you need to leech life and you know your lower mana then strafe is what you're going to have to use and a uh, multi shot um because i have so many charms like it's 22 without having to put any points in it so you know this is fine as it is but i don't really use this much and for my merc infinity yes for the core resistance and with and without it i tried it's 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 night and day it's, it's a huge difference so this is a must-have and then uh, ethereal andy and i have the increased attack speed and a uh, fire resist join here and i always say this uh, yeah so in this base with this speed yeah it breaks one uh break point and that's you know that's what i want and i'm using an ethereal arkham plate fort just random you know i, I don't care for like perfect stats so main thing is the damage you know so anyways i believe that should have covered a lot of those or everything on those so let me go ahead and show you the cow run and i'd like to show you the chaos as it was bail so yeah let me go ahead and buff up okay let's go so oh you know what actually before i go i want to i gotta show you guys something which is the increase attack speed so i don't i'm not at the max increase attack speed so let's do the math here 20 here right and 15 here and 20 here so let's go to the calculator and kind of check this out so you know what let me uh, zoom in a little so amazon and i'm using a matriarchal bowl do that here you go and i'm 20 on the bow and the ias 15 on the helm and 20 on the glove right so and then yeah for my strafe i'm at the you know break point i don't need any more for my regular you know freezing arrow i'm at nine frames per second so if you look at the table so i'm here 42 at nine frames per second so it could get up to seven frames but look how much is you need you know that's you know, that's a lot so realistically you know where i can go would be more here but you know in order to get there i would have to sacrifice you know a lot more somewhere else so it's at this you know nine you know but it's not that bad because if you see like every punch is heavy because of the cold damage so anyways let me go ahead and you know show you guys the run 
If you see, like, you know, just they just pop and die. <laughs> and especially if they get the conviction aura, I mean, you know, it's it's pretty strong. So this, I have faith, you know, Amazon as well, but I enjoy this character more. There's, oh, look at that! Did you see that popping? And that's because the pierce too. You know, if I do get the pierce through then you know it will just continue on the damage right so it's really hacks in that sense yeah, if you see my mana too it's like it goes down really fast it's a really mana intensive ability but at the same time because you know i concentrate on the leech so much like you know i don't feel the the strain you can say oh i'm low on bows okay drop me something guys no, seriously, sometimes like when you need those arrows or bolts, you know, like you see them everywhere on the ground. Like, you don't need to pick it. Oh, there we go. But sometimes when you need them and you don't want to go back to town. Oh, there we go. I got lucky. Like they just never drop, you know. This time I got lucky. Maybe because I'm making the video. So small charm. Okay. Let me pick that up too. So as you see, it's really like smooth, you know, like everything's slow and you know, you just take your time and although I'm at that 9 frames, like it's not that bad at all. Now you could put on a high lord and it will take you to uh, 8 frames, but you will be losing the, the plus 1 skill and that's huge once again because this character revolves around plus skill. So. And then you're gonna be losing mana leech, and I tested that too. Uh, it's like I attack slightly faster, but as a result, I'm running out of mana faster, and I'm not getting it back fast enough. Kind of. That's that was how I felt. So you know, I don't think I want to do that way. This mana leech is just that much important. So actually, on your you know boot, you don't have to go with the wall travelers. Um, I actually have a silk weave. That's in my stash that I don't have on. And you might be wondering, Silk Weave? Why, right? Well, it has 5 mana after kill. So, again, it's just, you know, focusing on that mana region. It's just that important. Like, I have tried it by playing around with the gears and kind of like letting go mana leech or all those, you know, mana helpers. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I wouldn't last 5 minutes. I mean, just... I would be potting constantly. I would have to run back to town to buy mana potions. That's how bad it was. So I realized mm, this is a very mana intensive build. But I guess, you know, in return, right? The, the play style, you know? Like, see? Look at that. Everything just popped to death. It's really fun. You know, it was worth the investment for me. And this was a third character that I had created upon my return to Diablo 2 in 2019 it's been very very fun playing this too you know some people might put like enigma on the merc actually so that you know they could swap and like teleport around that's an option too and also you know this merc you know his damage and his his purpose isn't necessarily damage right it's just to wield that uh, infinity to keep to help me out and I believe also I have might aura on him which is a similar argument as the wall traveler just increase my base physical damage so that when I try to leech with strafe strafe like it will leech more it will do more damage that was my logic because if you think about it like what else can you get you know if it's merc you can act to merc like, I already have holy freeze so I mean, you have what you know the con the the attack rating one the blessed aim i believe yeah and then might and then you have thorn and um so yeah the options were like not that good you have prayer mark healing uh, uh oh, it's, it's attractive i guess it could be but you know it's just i don't know and with the attributes actually, some people actually uh, max out Vit, they don't max Dex. Like for me, like, oh, I think I didn't actually go over that, haha, <laughs> sorry. Wait, I just strength enough for your weapons or items. 
And as you saw earlier, I have Ethereum Monarch, so that's why I want 46. And the rest in the decks. It's all decks. And but like I was saying, you know, some people actually don't go that route. They don't go into decks. They just put enough to wield their weapons or armors. And actually, they max vit on this, you know, uh, freezing style Amazon. But if you do that, you need to put into penetrate. The we do, the reason why I don't need to put into penetrate is because I max decks. That you know, decks help me out a lot. But if you're not gonna, you know, max out decks like the way I just did then you got to look at your attack rating and make sure that it's high enough. Otherwise, you know, it'd be bad. So you need to put in penetrate. Then it kind of changes, you know, how you want to do your setup on your talents. So maybe then, you know, at that point, maybe uh, this one, the ice arrow, you could just skip that and maybe put that into penetrate instead, you know, kind of play around with it. So, you know, there are a lot of different options to go about this. Mine is just one of many and what I wanted to do and it's not necessarily like right per se but at least you know this build will give you I guess the core that you need to keep the core essence and you know what you can play with to you know make it like whatever you want it to be so yeah I think I'm coming to an end of a cow run you know, overall like I think you know it was a really smooth and enjoyable run this not really much you know thing to stop me thankfully this time but yeah if i run into no actually on amazon nothing can stop me because i have magic arrow so if i see physical immune i just use magic arrow so yeah like you know i don't really yeah like get afraid of a lot of boss packs or boss mobs now these guys uh these guys are actually yeah no these immune to cold and yeah you cannot get rid of it if you see so this is also why i got that might mark along with war traveler because you know those immune to cold guys especially these guys right here like the only way that i can really do decent damage is if my physical damage is high and those are helped by might and you know my boot so Oh, maybe I should bring my top. So this is when, you know, when you think like, hmm, maybe I should have like Enigma on me, you know? So I guess, you know, this could be like a little inconvenience. So if you don't like it, this might be an issue. But, you know, for me, it's not that bad. I can live with this. And plus, this is, you know, TC85 zone anyways. So who knows? I might get a decent drop. Anyways, let me just try to fast forward up. I don't want to be wasting time here too much. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. A lot of bugs here. No problem. Okay. These guys here that was popping, like, you know, it's really enjoyable, you know, especially when you also see that Frost Nova proc. It's, uh, yeah, 25% chance. Oh, uh, this one doesn't look good. I gotta kill these. Oh, I'm just gonna run by. Okay. Just doing a little bit of multi shotting. Well, actually, I should just use, yeah, a cold arrow on these. Yeah, but once I'm in the sanctuary, only like those caster knights, only they are immune. So it should be a little bit better. Okay, I'm in. Let's do this. Yeah, so although even they're immune to cold, you know, I still do the base damage. So the base damage still, you know, goes and you know, damages them. Okay, guys, let's just go forward and drop me an arrow, somebody, please. I don't want to have to go back. To wow, this guy came this far. Yeah. Okay. 21. Oh, I'm pretty low. Do I have to go back to town? I don't usually carry around extra spare. Like. Ooh. Oh no. I'm going to run out soon. Or. Hmm, let me see if I can get a little lucky. Uh, uh, no, I'm out. <laughs> I gotta go. 
Okay. So that's what I was saying earlier, you know, sometimes like you have all these like arrows on the ground that you will never pick up. Then when you need it, like you just never see them again. Okay, it's continuing on. Yeah, some people put extra arrows here, but you know, I just don't. Okay. I think with again, you know, with you know, when you see those mobs popping, it's like it's really, you know, enjoyable. You know what? Okay. Oh, there's some here. Okay, wow, did you see that? That was like that was a pretty big pop. Oh, there's a some sort of a, okay. Open, open, okay. Oh, I got decrify. It's really annoying curse. Makes your attack slower. Okay. Wow. Uh, I don't usually pick up large charm. Yeah, sometimes you could get those, you know, the max, uh, max attack rating life charms on those two. Uh, I have actually uh, one of my uh, boas on is filled with those, but it's not my normal preference to pick those up. I mean, it could be other pretty decent charms too, but I don't know. People don't really look for large charms. People usually just get grand charms or just you know small charms. And if you do the math though, like large charms, the, in the sense of the max damage AR lifer charms. So if you think about it, like. So, you know, 3, 20, 20. That's like the best, right? On the small. And on the large, um, on the max damage, it goes up to 6. I think attack rating... Oh, I'm, I'm not sure, actually. I think life goes up to 45 or 40-something. 40 I think attack rating is like... I don't know, maybe 50s or 60s? I'm not sure. But, um, you know, if you compare, though, like... I mean, if you compare the Grand Charms, like Grand Charms, you could only get 10 max, right? So if you have three small charms with three max, and they're same slots, right? It takes up three slots, and if you have three smalls, it's so much better than having one Grand. Because, you know, it's be 10 versus 12. So you could see that kind of difference between small and the Grand Charms, but between small and the large charms, you don't see that kind of, you know, disparity, I guess. Oh wow, what, what's hitting me? Yeah, this guy was hitting me so hard. Okay, let me pop. I don't wanna die. Yeah, it's cause I'm not max res, you know? It does affect me. Okay. Okay, die, die, die. Yeah, my multi shot. Yeah, it's not high damage at all. Still, like I remember the old days back in Cal. Like just you know, as a Boazan, you just go and multi shot. That's the only thing you did. Just multi shot all day. And still, you know, you're pretty effective. And also, if you had the knockback in force pre nerf, yeah, when you just multi shot, like. If I recall correctly, like the distance was more or something too. I remember like when I had my wind force on my Amazon, like the whole cow room, like I would just cover the whole room and even more. But anyways, here's Diablo. So usually like faith, you know, Amazons, they suffer on Diablo and says that they don't do so well. I have one, so I know. And it's a pretty general fact. Faith Amazons suck at these boss fights. They just take forever. They can't kill anything really but when it comes to this ice bow was on it's a different story because you know the damage base is different there's laying of the hands okay, I think I'll keep that laying of the hands because you know I always need one like you know, sometimes like I don't think I was gonna create something new like a new character and then I end up making one and I end up needing another laying of the hands all the time so here's my silk weave so you see five to mana after each kill that's why I use it Right now I can't swap because the tank strength here is what's completing my spec, so I'm just gonna go on. Oh, oh actually I'm gonna skip these guys because they're all cold immune. So you now I have my other character here that opened the throne portal for me. 
So I'm just gonna take this, try to make this faster. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me running for the next 20 minutes trying to find where the portals are. Okay, that was everything. And rebuff. Yeah. Pretty enjoyable, for me at least. You just pound pound and they just die. Okay. Yeah, see that? Oh, now these guys are immune to cold, so yeah, I gotta just pay a little bit more attention. But for the main guys, you know, they just they just got melted. A couple shots. Okay, the third wave. Oh, I hate these guys. Let me just finish off like this. Okay. And back up. Save my mercenary. Okay. So if you look at it too, like see strafe is at 81, so it's actually not that high. But my you know freezing arrow is at 92. So uh, actually that makes me think maybe I should respect out of uh, ice arrow. Yeah, maybe I should uh, max out penetrate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that after the video. <laughs> okay, last wave. And if you see, they were just like it's frozen there, and the uh, ice arrow helped me on that. But if you look, you get five percent freeze and freeze length per level. So I put twenty points in here, right? Now normal freeze is four seconds. So I put twenty ah yeah. So like how much more do you get? Like four seconds becomes five seconds? It's not it doesn't sound like a lot. Okay, I need to leave some life out these guys too. Okay. Yeah. Let's see my hit percentage. 85 on Bale, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. Because you know a lot of melees get like 70%. Okay. And compared to Faith Merc and uh, Faith Amazon, yeah, this goes much faster. I know. Oi. Oh, he summoned a little clone. Okay. There we go. He died. Mm, nothing good it looks like. I had to pot twice because I was low mana, but still, it's still worth it. His bail is just bail. He's annoying sometimes. So, anyways, that was the build. And yeah, actually, mm, after this video, I am gonna respect and spec into penetrate. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, please give this a try. I think it's aside from the faith build, I think it's really enjoyable and powerful. And as you guys saw, you know, if you guys like that kind of playstyle, yeah, you guys would love you know playing this character. So if you have any questions or whatever comments, please post below and I'll try to answer as best I can. Thank you very much and have a good one.